Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video for you parents out there who are struggling with getting your toddler off of a pacifier. I got my daughter off her pacifier at 16 months. She's currently 18 months and she is completely off of it. I actually had it right here in front of her because I'm, I'm filming, I'm gonna show you guys it. And she looked at it like no big deal. So if you're interested on how I did that, please keep on watching. So this is not gonna be a long drawn out video. Essentially what I did was I cut her pacifier. Here you go, you see? The pacifier is cut. And what this does, it takes out the satisfaction with the pacifier, they don't have that little bulb to suck on. Now I came across this piece of advice because I worked at a preschool prior to this it was a preschool daycare from so the students there were from three months to four years old and I remember seeing a girl that was like two years old off of the pacifier and I just asked my mom like hey like she's so young how did you get her off of it because so many children struggle with that she was like oh I just cut it and yeah I did my research now you don't have to listen to what I'm just saying of course do your research as a parent because that's what I did she told me that piece of information I did my own research and it worked for me just to let you know a lot of the research said that um you're gonna have to make an initial cut which was this one and then cut lower 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 until there's nothing left i didn't even have to go that far it literally took it literally took like instantly like one day but for her to stop asking for the pacifier it took about like four days total now the reason why i felt as a parent that i needed to get her off of her pacifier is throughout her First 15 months of her life, she only needed it to go to sleep in the car, on the bus, and if she got like hurt and she was in pain. And that's how we soothe her. So as 16 months started rolling by, seven, around 16, 17 months, like we would put it in high places like on top of the table, on top of the desk, on top of the counter, on top of the fridge, like wherever, on top of the dressers. And she used to ask for it. She'll go, Bobo, Bobo. And like she wanted it around the clock and that's when I realized she's she's starting to get an attachment to it that it's either now or never unless she's gonna be like four with it and and even more attached and emotionally involved with it so that's how we did that also I was working at the time so I decided on the Friday I was gonna do it because I'll be home Friday Saturday Sunday and I believe that no that Monday she went to my mom's house because my mom watches her so on Friday, I cut that boy. As soon as she woke up, I cut it, and instantly she she like she took it out of her mouth and she threw it. She did not want it. And throughout the day on that fr on that Friday, she asked for it. And every single time she asked for it, I gave it to her with the cut. And then she kept like sucking on it. She looked at it weird. She threw it. So to make a long story short, she really pretty much by Friday night she really wasn't asking for it. She went to sleep without it. Um, Saturday and Sunday, she didn't ask for it at all. And why I say four days what took the complete cycle was because on the Monday was a, a different routine than she had on the weekends. Monday, she wakes up like at seven, we get her dressed early, and then we drive her to my mom's house and the car. She's been through all the situations she needed her pacifier for except the car. And she asked for it and, and we gave it to her and she didn't like it. She made faces, you know, she threw it. She would, she just kept trying and then she took it out and then she tried it. And after that Monday, that was it. She just stopped asking for it, she didn't want it. So we can relate to the process. The science behind it is, think about how so, when somebody breaks up with you. When somebody chooses to break up with you, you are heartbroken, you yearn for it. Oh my God, why me, why me? No, I want you back. Depending on the situation, but given, usually when somebody breaks up with you, it's more hurtful for the person who was broken up with, not the person who did the breakup. Now, if you are the person who did the breakup and it's your decision, you, you're gonna be okay with that decision because that's the choice you made. And that's kind of like the same logic that is behind cutting the pacifier, you are not taking it away from them. You are not throwing it away. This is not cold turkey. They're deciding to take this out of their mouth and stop using it. And it's a choice they make. 
So anyway, I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, or any more information, leave a comment below. And if you like these videos, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button so you can see more. And if you want to see more of my brilliant, beautiful, smart daughter, check out my vlog channel at the end of this video or down below. Bye!